It's been many years since I have built a theme park without any game pass. So in this series, I will be just trying to build a whole theme park without any game pass. It's been like almost three years since I've built anything without a game pass. So it is going to be quite challenging for me. So let's just get straight into the video. All right, and I'm on here on my alt account. I just started a new park. As you can see, I do not have any of the game passes, but I'm not going to be buying anything. I have zero Robux on this account. Now we only have 11,000 money so I'm probably am having yeah to make a little bit of a small money farm before I can actually work on I guess the entrance so let me just do that real quick so it's the next day and as you can see I have now 650,000 and I have built the money farm I have been now sending AFK for I think around seven hours so I do think it's hopefully enough money for at least the entrance I don't know how expensive all those pieces are going to be but yeah I'm probably going to delete this of course in the future but now we actually can build the yeah, entrance right here but i really really want to start working on that entrance so let's just get straight into that so i'm first just going to yeah sort of continue with this path that's normally here of course it's not here at the moment but that also means i'm going to be placing the yeah entrance right here since i don't want to build it all the way here since otherwise you have quite a long road here so it is going to be like straight next to the money farm all right let's get some walls and i really want to probably have some yeah stone walls at the bottom and then i'm going to make it two white yeah like that then we're going to have probably three around here and there we have sort of like the base of the entrance and yeah i have not built like this in so long so i i hope it's still sort of going to work the idea that i have if i remember correctly you were able to use the poles to yeah sort of create a little bit more of a yeah 3dness to the building since now it's of course very flat so if you yeah use these yeah thicker poles you can actually do this which already starts to make it yeah look way better and then you were also able to use signs on, on the walls and then you can like delete the text and yeah sort of paint them in a way where it's like this and then you actually have like another small detail to your ball there we go and then you also oh what was the other piece um let i think it was yeah letters which you could place under here and then you also have their detail all right and now we need to get in a roof yes and i'm probably going to use these slanted pieces like on this way i think that yeah looks good and yeah well these edges look terrible i think we all know that and i'm oh what if we use this up here and then we can use this other piece like right there and we actually have quite a yeah I like that. And yeah, now it looks kind of bad. I do indeed agree with that. But there comes the roof trims in place. And those are, yeah, starting to make it look a little bit more overhang. And I think if we can actually maybe paint those like a lighter gray color. Maybe like this one. Maybe a little darker. Maybe that one. Yeah. And we can use that like on the edges of everything. I think that will already look a little bit more, yeah, natural and better. And yeah, that's already starting to look a lot better. I do like, yeah, the color scheme is actually quite nice. I'm not sure if I'm wanting to keep the red roof. But for now, I think that's fine. But yeah, this is, yeah, still flying in. I don't think we want that so let's get some more poles and maybe we should use the round poles here Ooh, oh that actually, oh that actually kind of works yes please and then also on the other side right here and i'm going to just slowly extend this path a little bit just so we have this yeah right there and then we also of course have to actually fill in these gaps otherwise yeah we, we don't want to look through the roof i'm i already hate not having the game pass this is going to be a long series <laughs> All right, can we at least add the facades? Oh, yes, we can add these. That's okay. That's at least a plus side of, yeah, doing this. So, yeah, let's add that all the way on this side. And then if I remember correctly, you were able to use these posts. Ah, look, yeah, that's still possible. That's probably, like, the best way to actually detail something with those posts. So, if I would do it like this. Ah, yeah, this still works. Okay, that's great. Where is it? Uh, you have, like, a special roof item. I always forget. Ah, uh, the mesh roof. It's this one. I think we can actually... Oh, we can only place it there. Hmm. All right, that is already starting to look a little bit more detailed. It's actually, yeah, you can do a lot with just those few pieces. It's actually quite surprising. And then I guess I'm also going to add like a fence in here. I'm not sure which one should I use. Maybe this fence or maybe I think the chains are probably a little bit better. And I can actually add those marquees here. Can I also add them on the inside? I can. Oh, that's, oh, that's perfect. It's certainly that you cannot add them here, but I, I can use them here, which is, I guess, already a little bit better. And then I can also paint them. Since I guess the entrance for now is going to be red. Maybe I'm going to change in the future, but for now, I think this, yeah, kind of fits. And I'm also not the biggest fan of this 
bath. Yeah, I think that already like makes it pop a little bit better. And then there is one big problem if you do not have any of the game passes. If I now want to add a tree in front of here, as you can see, I can place it. But if I now delete it, everything behind here is now gone. And then make it probably also a little bit thicker here again. Maybe this long. I do not know what I kind of want to do here. Maybe like a few buildings on the side. It's like a little main street. Then this might be a little bit too thick. So I might just move it like here. Oh, maybe one. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I guess if we get like some primitives right here. And then get this wooden wall all around here. Now, now it really feels that. I might just want to make that green. <laughs> Something like that. And I guess if I'm saying that correctly, I can put on some... You cannot put the... I, uh. And then what you can do is like place some nice benches next to here. That already starts to look like a little bit better. And then of course, I kind of want to make this some sort of a realistic park. Of course, it's quite hard to do it without any game passes. And then we've got, yeah, a quite nice little entrance plaza, I think. And that can maybe leading up to like something round here. I'm not sure what it would be. So then we have like a, maybe a fountain in the middle or like a place for a statue. But I'm not really sure out of that. And then we can actually have maybe like a way here. A way here and a way out the right there and then of course paint that the right color okay so as you can see i have added a little bit more of a path up here which is sort of a fake path but i actually think that actually quite looks nice having just a little bit more of an elevation on the side i'm just going to keep this here so actually guests can walk over here since i do want yeah this park to be able for the guests so yeah right here i'm going to have like a few of these buildings on either side i'm not sure how i'm really going to like theme these or like detail these yeah i will just have to figure it out but uh, yeah i guess i'm just going to yeah try some things probably on one side and then copy them over in some sort of different like order to the other side but yeah let's do this in the form of a time lapse okay yes it's time for something new um instead of just watching the time lapse with like music on the background i thought by myself let's just for the first time do a voiceover so yeah, um, it's just, I'm going to try it out. Maybe it does work, maybe it doesn't work. Um, I'm probably going to say some word stuff um, all around. But um, what we can see right now on the screen is that I have started just building some, yeah, really standard buildings. They are like the most special, mainly because, of course, we do not have any game passes. So the, yeah, options of like adding these to all the walls and the roofs. Mainly the roofs are just really hard to do with UF no game pass like you can barely add these to it. like you just have like a flat piece and that's it but you can see that i am adding some detail on yeah the sides um you see them also deleting some stuff again and i wasn't really sure since well it's been a very long time since i did build with of course game passes as i said in the video but it is just really actually great coming back at like building like this and then you like Oh wait, I am not able to do that and then you all, like all those things you like come across and like oh I am so happy we now have all these cool and new futures. Um, so yeah, that's just really great. Like let's say you place a tree next to your house. That means all the detail you've put right there gets deleted by the tree, which is just something I of course knew but didn't really really realize when I like started building. So <laughs> that was like oh okay well that does not work but yeah um i'm now trying to build like some sort of corner building um you can barely build on angles especially you do not have a lot of pieces you can work with that are all on an angle and well it's no game passes uh, everything has to be on a grid which does not make it uh, easier as you can tell but i think it did turn out pretty good it's definitely not the most detailed building i just yeah put some windows in there i think in the end it turned out to be like some very simple restaurant shop and yeah i do kind of like the colors it definitely gives me some sort of like oh we're actually doing the inside right now um yeah it's 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 a weird inside i just didn't really know what to do with the room but yeah these buildings really just remind me of like the sort of german buildings and um, i think that was probably the main inspiration and yeah just the whole roof everything just being red everything is of course a slight different yeah color tint just to mix it up a little bit and of course some houses have like stone at the bottom and the wood at the top and then some have flipped them again but just like you have a very limited amount of pieces you can deal with so you see me like using signs without text on them uh, you you see me use like letters but it's just a very like old build technique that i use like 
I don't even know, maybe like three years ago. I'm just <laughs> using those again. Um, yeah, it's back in memory lane. And that's, I think, what I really like about doing this again. And I think we've almost finished now the left side of all the buildings. Um, I have added like the path in front of it, but then I realized like, wait, I cannot add like any benches there. So that's going to look weird. So I think I deleted that later in the time lapse again or in the video itself actually. Um, I did like kind of, I, I kind of like the planters in the, in the middle. Definitely like broke up the area a little bit since otherwise it felt a bit big. And um, yeah, but now we're actually starting on the right. And I think this is supposed to be a gift shop. It is a very small gift shop or is it yes it's a gift shop see with like the the, the the things yeah you don't really have like gifts but it's more of like a toy shop i guess but yeah you see me like messing around with the path and it just started slowly to look more weird but like of course the path to the actual building since i do want to make this a functional park but actually actually cube paths and all that other stuff so that just messed my plan a little bit and you can see me like here trying to build some sort of like higher tower and just <laughs> trying to find the right piece you need for that especially since I'm so used to having like the size to <laughs> just being able to size everything however you want just yeah searching a certain piece and then it of course has to fit some pieces just don't fit or they do fit but then you get the hey you cannot place anything here because you have collisions and then you uh, you can throw your whole idea out of the window But then we also started working on the other side of the corner building and I didn't want to make the exact same corner building So I just made it like a little bit low and just some weird roof It's definitely one of the weirder buildings that are there, but I just wanted a lot of different shapes and varieties and There's like a small weird gap in between those buildings, but I, I sort of just ignored it and oh I am by the looks of things just doing a random mission but we just put that we just continue we are grinding for all those credits and i am planning to maybe use some skins in the future since those are of course very cool but yeah these are one of the final buildings that i've built and i know all the all the roofs are wet but for some reason i think they just really fit it i think if you would have changed a lot of like um, the color roof it would just feel like one bigger rainbow entrance and i didn't really want that so i felt just this fitted in the style of the entrance it is maybe a bit basic you see me here also like changing up the path again and again to like at the at the benches and i realized like oh well that's not really going to work <laughs> uh, this is like the balloon shop i really like this is probably like my favorite like stall in the game the balloon um also like was always my favorite in like roller coaster like one one two three just being able to have like a lot of different colors actually like in your park like people having a balloon and just have like red and you have blue and purple and orange and just all those colors going through each other just made it like way more nice looking park and of course when you completed a scenery or like a campaign map everyone just let go of the balloon the whole map was just completely filled with balloons just was also a very great one but i added some flags and then that's almost the end of the time lapse so let me know in the comments what you think of this and let's continue all right we are a good two hours further as you have seen probably in the time lapse i have made the main street with a couple of shops in there we have a yeah food a drink shop we have here a balloon shop we even got a yeah, gift shop at the yeah, beginning of the park where you can buy some gifts for of like the park and stuff but yeah i am actually pretty happy with this turned out i have yeah, decided to add some flex so they might look a little bit weird but i just wanted to add some more color since it yeah is a lot of red but i guess it's just sort of only the yeah the entrance area just has this sort of like building still and yeah on here there probably won't be any buildings but i still have the middle left i don't know what to do for that should i make like a big statue place for it or should i make like a fountain for it let me know down in the comments and then i will be yeah maybe building that in the next episode i want to thank you for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed this if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think of this new series and if you have any tips for me so guys i will say as always good bye